Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, the only place where you can find your daily tech reports, uh, tips and tricks on hardware and software, and also don't forget about geeky related topics. Now, on the last video, guys, I showed you how to install Citrix Zen Server 6.2 on VM Workstation uh, 9, version 9. Uh, today I'm going to show you what's next after you do the installation. As you can see, this is where I left off in the last video, and this is my IP address. So I'm going to bring up my browser. It's my browser. This is actually my blog, uh, bjtechnews.org. Go check it out. Awesome stuff all the time. And uh, I'm going to go to 192, 168, 239, 136, and hit enter. So when you do it, this is what you're going to get. It wants you to download Zen Center. Zen Center is basically the console portion of Zen Server. So I'm going to do the Zen uh, Center installer. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go into my downloads folder and we're going to install it. Let's hit run on that. It's preparing to install. It's basically welcome to Zen uh, Citrix. Zen server setup and I'm gonna hit next this is the location all users have all my users have access to this and install let's close this up once you get the nice little use user account control which I hate those things from Windows 7 you're just gonna hit yes and uh, Citrix Zen Center should continue configuring itself and it's pretty quick uh, it looks like it's already completed let's hit finish and you're probably saying what did it do so let's close this up and let's minimize this and I'm gonna close my this file and let's get into my start and as you can see I got a nice little icon or a new application that was installed called Citrix Zen Center let's click on this bad boy and see what it does so it's loading up Okay, once it's finally loaded up, you're going to say, would you like Zen Server to periodically check for the internet? Nah, I'm going to say no for now. No for now. Uh, let's maximize this bad boy. And as you can see, very, very simple. And it's not that simple, but again, I'm going to do future videos showing you guys step by step of what's going on with Zen Server. Uh, I haven't used Zen Server for many years. The last time that I used Zen Server was in version 3. So that's, that's a long time. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to add a new server and you got to give it the server name now I'm gonna see I'm gonna go to my command prompt and see if I could pin the host name that I gave it on the last video and I can't so I'm gonna do it by IP address and the IP address is 192 168 239, 239, I think it was 168. I got bad memory, 136, 136. And remember that password that we gave it on the first video? Gotta make sure you remember that password because if you don't know the password, you're not gonna be able to add that host into your sensor. Uh, sensor. Synchronizing, it looks like it's pretty good. Uh, Zinsuri can remember login credentials. Yeah, sure. Save it. I don't require that. Press OK. And it looks like it's talking to it. And it is added successfully. Awesome. So I already have a uh, a Zen server already added into my Zen Center, which is awesome. Uh, from here, you can basically add a local disk. Normally, the way that I add my local disk is uh, a folder within the network share that has all the ISOs. And then from there, I start building my virtual machines. Uh, I'm going to cut it from here, guys, because I just wanted to show you what's the next step once you install your Zen server. Second step is basically, you know, uh, go into your management IP address, uh, download your Zen Center uh, installation file, install it, and add your Zen server to it. Uh, future videos, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine, get yourself up and running, a little bit of management, a little bit of fault tolerance. Uh, clustering with Zen Center. Uh, there's so much involved. It's, it's Citrix, the Zen Server, and the Zen Center is equivalent as ESXi as well as VMware stuff. So, uh, and again, it's it's open source. It looks like Citrix is giving this stuff out for free. 
for users with limited features so this is pretty great I'm actually gonna try to deploy this at my job uh, with a bunch of machines that I haven't been using I could have like little baby virtual machines especially I could have like Linux machines so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any concerns or questions please leave them at the comment section I always reply to those comments uh, good or bad uh, please give me a thumbs up give me a please subscribe and I catch you guys on the next video peace out